to Katie Fix. Today we are bringing summer to the table with our gorgeous cheese stuffed summer burger recipe. Oh, I'm so excited. These can be enjoyed on the barbie in summertime, but today I'm going to show you how to do them in your kitchen so that even when you click on this in winter, it's still going to be applicable. Woohoo for evergreen content. This is the sort of recipe that really will help you out with that sometimes otherwise bland supermarket mince. If you cannot get down to the butchers and grab yourself a beautiful cut of aged chunk steak and mince it yourself so that you can cook it medium rare and enjoy all the natural flavours, here's how to jazz up just pre-minced mince. So we're going to start off with 500 grams of mince. Please, please, please buy high quality, high welfare mince. Like, if I'm going to be a meat eater, I'm sure as hell going to be a responsible one. And that's going to go into our bowl. That's 500 grams. To this, we're then going to add half a small red onion that I've just very finely diced. And about a quarter bunch of parsley, again, finely chopped or roughly chopped. And that's as simple as it is. No need to put in any egg or bread, unless if you like a particularly like squidgy, quite close textured burger. If you are going to cook these off now, then season now. If you're going to cook them off a little bit later, you want them to sit in the fridge, you want to freeze them, don't add any salt at this point because it will draw out all that moisture and juice that we don't want to lose from these gorgeous burgers. As I'm cooking now, I'm going to add in my salt and pepper and we're just going to combine all of those ingredients. If you want to give them a good scrunch, you're going to get a much finer grain on your burger. If you want to kind of keep those chunky, very knobbly, gnarly bits on your burger, then don't handle it as much. We're going to go rustic. Okay, so I'm dividing the mixture into three. I'm going to pop those into three lumps on here so that you can see what I'm doing. And I have got in this bowl here 60 grams of cheddar cheese. So that is going to be 20 grams per burger that we're going to stuff inside. Take your beef and then you want to take off just under half of the burger. The bottom burger you're going to compact and you're going to push a well into the middle. I am going to keep dirty hands for this because I mean, this cheese isn't going to go anywhere other than in this burger. We're going to take a big wadge of cheese. Grated cheese is going to help it melt down a lot quicker. We're going to stick that right in the centre and then over the top we're going to use our remaining piece of beef burger. And you're going to press it over and you're going to flatten it and then we're going to pick it up and just cement it back together. And there you go, people. So simple. Looks like a, just a normal beef burger, but you cut into that and you're going to get a gorgeous, oozy, cheesy surprise. Woo! Now I'm going to crack on with the other two. Meanwhile, I'm going to get my pan heating up to a nice high temperature. What we want to do is you want to sear these bad boys first. You want to get some gorgeous colour on the outside of them and then we're going to drop the temperature down and just allow it to cook through a little bit and that heat going through at a lower temperature is what's going to melt that cheese and make it go gorgeously oozy. But we also want to get a nice sear on the outside so that the cheese doesn't escape. Nice hot pan, we're going to pop some oil in there as well and in our burgers go. Now, these are going to go in and probably take about 15 minutes to cook all the way through so just just enjoy this montage of glory. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Oh. Ah. Jeez, oh my god. And there we have it. So it's been about 15 minutes. And so say after we sear them, I drop the temperature right down and just let them cook nice and slowly all the way through, being sure to turn them halfway as well so you get a nice even cook on both sides. We've already got a bit of cheese starting to ooze through despite our barrier technique. It failed me a little bit, but that's okay because it's still gonna taste of cheese in heaven. I've got myself a beautiful brioche bun and to this, I'm going to add some burger sauce. Now this is my burger sauce, which if you click this link just up here, you'll be able to check the recipe for, which is absolutely delicious. We're gonna add on some of our baby gem lettuce and then on top, we're gonna to add our gorgeous. That cheese is already bursting through ever so slightly. Top that off with a little bit of tomato, one slab on top, bun on top of that. Should we cut open? So you can see what's inside. There is no polite way to eat a burger, it's just the way it is, so let's give it a go. 
monumental. The cheese runs all the way through it. So you get a really lovely like salty cheddar through there. The freshness of the parsley really cuts through and actually it really, really enhances that beef flavour. That is beautiful. I hope you give this recipe a go guys. And if you do, make sure you share a picture with me on social media at the Katie Picks, on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I want to see your summer barbecues. I've just mentioned all my lipstick onto my hand. So until next time, goodbye! That was too loud, wasn't it? I'm sorry.